What's up guys, it is Watch Cars back with another news video. And today we have some exciting news from Tiso and the announcement of a 40 millimeter version of the Tiso C-Star 1000. This is a watch that we have all been waiting for for a little while. They came out with a 40 millimeter version in quartz not that long ago and a lot of people were asking for this with a Powermatic 80. And finally, we are now seeing this watch being announced by Tissot. They came out with a 46 millimeter version. There was always the 43 millimeter version. However, they just recently announced a 40 millimeter version. Now, information on this is not yet available here in the United States. This has been announced overseas, but I do have details about these watches and they are coming in at 40 millimeters. You are getting four different versions. There is the aqua blue green dial, which is very popular. That is the sort of standard version of the C-Star 1000. It gets a bracelet. That is the oyster style bracelet that they've put on all of the other C-Star 1000s. It gets a center link that is polished. 40 millimeter cases, as I mentioned, they measure in at 40 millimeters. You get a 46 millimeter lug span, around a 12 and a half millimeter thickness with the sapphire crystal. It's a little bit thicker than that at around 12.8 millimeters thick. You are getting the Powermatic 80, which you can see from the back. And then you are getting some cool dials on here, which is a little bit different than what they did with the quartz version. These are getting brushed dials. These are vertically brushed dials. And then you are getting a mineral crystal. You get the same indices set up on this watch. So you're getting those large indices that sort of cut into the chapter ring of the watch which looks very good. You have a date window at the three o'clock, again, with that surround that they've put on all the other watches. These are coming in four different versions, as I mentioned. I've mentioned the aqua blue or aqua green color. There's going to be a blue version. That is a PVD coated black version. So this is a black case with a tropic rubber strap, black tropic rubber strap. And then there is a gold version. This is a two-tone version. It gets a black dial, again, that is brushed all of the dials get a Fume pattern, so very familiar pattern that they've put on many of these C-Star 1000s. And then there is a black version. This is not a two-tone, it's the exact same dial. However, this gets silver tone indices in hands, while the gold version gets gold tone indices in hands. It's on that bracelet with the center links that are polished. You do get the generic buckle that they have put on all the other C-Star 1000s, again, and the 2000s. This is a press clasp with milled elements, so that scissor is milled. Of course, you're getting the Tissot logo that is pressed into the clasp. So these will actually wear pretty compact because you are getting a 40 millimeter watch with a 46 millimeter lug span, and it's really not that thick at around 12 and a half millimeters thick or 12.8 millimeters thick if you include that sapphire crystal with AR coating. The other thing I would like to mention here is you do get a 120 click bezel. That bezel is made out of mineral crystal. This is again something that we saw in the quartz version. However, overall, this is a nicer watch than the quartz version. It is a lot more expensive, but it looks like they've put a little bit better finishing on the case because you are getting those sections on the case that are sort of milled out. That has brushing and bead blasting. There is polishing, there are polished edges. So it looks a little bit nicer than that 40 millimeter version that came in quartz. Those are still available. And of course they still sell the C-Star 2000. Those are the bulked up versions and they will still sell the 43 millimeter versions with the Powermatic 80. Price on these are actually pretty good. They're starting at around $750 and going up slightly to around $795 depending on the version that you are getting. Uh, I think that's actually a pretty good price. And this is the watch that a lot of people have been asking for, including myself. The 40 millimeter version should wear like a 40 millimeter version, maybe a 41 millimeter, but I think because of that 46 millimeter lug to lug, this is going to wear very nicely. This does get a 20 millimeter lug span, not a 21, like on the 43 millimeter version. So that means you could basically put any strap that you want on this watch. And it tapers down to 18 millimeters on the bracelet. So there's a slight taper on the bracelet. I wish they put a little bit more taper on these bracelets, especially on the 43 millimeter version 
versions, but again, it would probably wear a little bit nicer on these 40 millimeter versions. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm very excited about these watches because like I said, I've been waiting for them to come out with the Powermatic 80 version of the 40 millimeter C-Star 1000 for a very long time and they have finally done it. And I think this is going to be a very big seller for Tissot alongside the PRX, which is very popular, but their dive watches have always been a little bit too large. So finally, a 40 millimeter automatic version with that Powermatic 80. And again, if you're not familiar with the Powermatic 80, you are getting 80 hours of power reserve. It's basically a slowed down 2824. And a lot of people really like these movements because of their versatility and of course their reliability. And of course that you could put your watch down on a Friday and pick it up on a Monday. And of course it would still have the correct time. Again, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you excited about these models? Which model would you pick out of the four? Would you like the blue dial with the black case, the aqua blue sort of classic looking C-Star 1000, the two-tone or the black dial? I really do like the black dial here and that brush dial looks very good, especially with that Fume effect. I'd like to hear which one you guys like down in the comments below. Anyway guys, thank you for logging on. Thank you for checking out this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.